kind of like a sequel in terms of how my creative, my writing process. So, I, but this one was, is this making any sense? <laughs> There's, there's tons of elements to the show. Uh, obviously, you've got you know the artwork for one, the props. There's a, a constant array of props, which is fantastic, yeah. and also the music. Um, so there's a lot of planning that has to go involved. But then you've also got a completely unexpected element, which is you massive audience participation. Nice to meet you. Nice to greet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to greet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to greet you. Nice to say. Watching audiences just sit there staring at you and not doing anything, and they're just kind of like they're just sat there, and it's just I can't stand it. And, and th that's where all the shouting comes from as well, because it's just kind of like it started out of frustration because you know you travel wherever you know I live in London, so you travel up to I don't know Leeds and you do a gig and they're just apathetic, and it's just and then you got to travel all the way back, and it's just kind of like well that was the, that wasn't a great gig, and it's just kind of like I'm trying to put it back into put the ball back into my court where I can kind of like go well we're definitely we're definitely gonna do this I'm definitely gonna do a show for you and you've definitely got to join in and you don't have a choice about it because you're here now and so don't waste my time and so getting them up on stage is just a way of just kind of like getting them to participate straight away so that they're kind of like right we know that if that's as bad as it's gonna get then we're all right. I have a girlfriend and, uh, and, and we're pregnant yeah. Yeah, nobody gets more for a girl than that, actually. Yeah, it's good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, uh, we've been trying for quite a long time. And, uh, and uh, I got home the other day, and she sat on the sofa, and she was drinking wine. She had a glass of red wine. And I said, you know you shouldn't be drinking that. And she goes, right, because I'm pregnant, because the doctors say, you know, you're allowed to have a glass of wine a day. I said, no, no, because you're nine. Fuck <laughs> 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 you, we've been trying for years. You can't support me one minute and tell you about the next. Years, literally years we've been trying to get pregnant. Years, years. Fuck you. It's angry enthusiasm. It's like, it is enthusiastic, but it's also, you know, a bit, a bit, a bit dangerous. <laughs> it's part of the show, and often that's the best reaction. So, uh, so I, was, I was walking down the road, and I was wearing a Superman T-shirt. Right, it's no one next but I'm fully aware that when I'm naked, I look like a poorly organised sock drop. Right? It's fine. I've dealt with it. It's fine. Right, but I was walking down the road, and on the horizon there was a bus stop, and around the bus stop there was about thirteen or forty. 13 or 14 year old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, it's a fucking amazing joke. It is. It is. And up until now, it's never got a laugh in four years. Never got a laugh in four years, but somehow it's just turned into a magic dust. Uh, so uh, I'll try it again. Uh, uh, on the horizon, there's 13 or 14. 
30 minutes. It's the pause that makes them. You know it is. It's the pause and the nod. But it's combining all of the skills that my neck and head have. Uh, it's just like, uh, so I'll try it again. Right? And, uh, watch out for it. On the, uh, on the horizon, it's about 30 or 40. <laughs> I don't even need to say that to you. <laughs> so I'll try it again, see if it works. I love, I, I love singing. I've always loved singing. And I think I always wanted to be in a band. I've seen your new boyfriend, he's really good looking. If he was a red boy, I'd probably book him. Not that I'm really into that stuff. I'm just saying your boyfriend's incredibly buff. But you have to... You have to organise four other people to do whatever you want to do. You know, it's just like, why don't you care about my dreams? Come on, let's do a gig in Cardiff. And, uh, and, uh, and stand, stand up. Yeah, it's just a way of doing that only on your own. And uh, although I've got Rob with me, my best mate Robert Stott, and, uh, and I make him do, I, I can't believe he's still my friend, but I just, oh God. Oh, poor Robert. He's got a really nice face, and really nice hair. He's really polite and he's really aware. He's got a really nice teeth, a really nice tan. And he's really relaxed when the shit hits the fan. <laughs> but he makes you look fat. <laughs> he makes you look ugly like a man. He makes you look old just like his man. Yeah, he makes you look fat.